And I'm feeling reasonably com confident about hard mode. So it looks like they just do an interchange. Now here's the beauty part. This is all water. Is this going to work? No, this is actually going to be a colossal failure. Maybe. So what's the plan tonight for streaming? Um, Honestly, fair disclosure, I'm really tired, so I'm actually probably going to stop. Uh, like, today's bloons only. I would love to do more than just bloons. Oh, no. I don't think I... Okay, we gotta, we gotta restart. I was not careful enough about my boat placement. I need to squeak those extra pixels. There we go. Because there's absolutely enough room for two boats here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. But yeah, I was, I was up really late last night, and unfortunately I'm super tired. So, uh, does not make me want to stay or stream for too long today. Comparatively. I might want to get Grape Shot first, before I get another boat. But I'm going to double check to make sure I can fit a second one in here. Yes. Because Grape Shot solves most of my immediate problems. Yeah, I wish there was a grid optional mode that you could turn on like a full grid. Cause that'd be nice. Ah, it should be good. Welcome to boat. So we should probably save up for Benji at this point. I think these guys will be enough. Yeah, or a snap to grid key. Yeah. Haven't done much today since Fantasy Star Online's been uncooperative. I really got to download that at some point and try it out. I was a massive fan of Fantasy Star Online 1. And, like, I've always been really afraid that 2 is going to be just this, like, weird beast that wears the skin of my childhood, like, favorite game. Or one of my favorite childhood games, but plays completely differently. That feels like it would be good for Monkeyopolis. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, there's a new version coming out soon. Oh, right, I remember hearing about that. Okay, here we go. So I'll probably give both of these guys hot shot. Uh, or maybe even lo long range. I'm going to give this guy long range and crow's nest just so we don't have to worry about stealth, which is coming soonish. Or do we start going merchant men? I guess the answer is we need more firepower. Yeah, I'll just do a grape shot destroyer here. 
We can have a bunch of merchantmen, but we don't have to. Okay. Now I feel reasonably confident in my ability to start getting some merchant men down. How are things in Balloon Land? Pretty good. Also, thank you, R3 King, for the 26 month resub. Doesn't feel that long, but it does feel like a great time. Well, thank you. How are you doing this fine and lovely after an evening? I'm zonking, but that happens. I like these stealth balloon waves where it's just like pop 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 This is the map that I've been waiting for. One where I can just go full ham with uh with a bunch of these pirate ships and not feel like I'm wasting uh wasting my loadout. Loadout lineup things. So what is the uh what is the meta for Monkeyopolis? Do you Do you surround it in just basic banana farms? Do you go full banana plantation or do you go just a bunch of marketplaces? Cause I don't I don't actually know the meta on it. Here, let's actually look it up. I'm sure somebody did the math and design. Okay. Monkeyopolis's income is based on the cost of the farms it absorbs. It can't absorb fifth tier farms, so it's always best to absorb four to zero farms. Those are the most expensive. Well, there's our answer. And do I have to have all of these down first? No, we got it. Barely. We should probably go for the destroyer before I do too much. I'm sure that that'll make my life a lot easier. Okay, I want to look at this again. So, It actually looks like Monkeyopolis might just not be worth it, according to comments. I don't know. Whatever. I'll make it worth it for me. Okay, let's get another merchant man. I guess the one thing is we don't get the... Oh, we don't get the bonus... For the merchant men, though. Okay, this is a pain in the butt. This might skunk me. Okay. There they go. Yeah, so we want to just get these down, and we should probably actually aim for some central markets. But let's let's get the rest of these guys down and merchant mend up. Because I'm probably going to hit my upper limit with these guys fairly quickly. And they are fairly cheap. So I might as well have, have them pay themselves off in short order. 
And then one more vertically? No. I might have been able to fit one more in. Yes. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I lost. Oh, well. I'll do it better this time. Uh, let's see. We do want this guy... Actually, we probably want him to be... Oh, no. Probably right here. Maximum toppage. The thing is, it doesn't really matter if I win or lose. Because I'm farming for EXP anyway. Yeah, too many merchants, not enough DACA. Yeah. Yeah. I'll accept that. I... I think maybe for the, uh, the top, I will specifically do, uh, Grape Shot and Faster Shooting. So, two Destroyers up here. Ah, lost one. It's okay. Oh, it's literally a grape! I'm a moron! I was sitting there looking at the fruit for a while, I'm like, huh, that's a funky looking fruit. And the answer is, it's a grape. I just has taken it to, uh, well, I guess not literally. I don't know. I just sometimes I don't bring good. Sometimes I'm just like, yep, that's a grape shot. That's that's a legitimate type of you know ammunition. No. Now you dungus. It's in the upgrade name. I'm well aware. It doesn't change the fact that I'm I'm dirt braining here. Okay, I think we're. Oh, I can get rid of these trees. Why? I mean, I'm sure there's a, a build reason why. Uh, let's see, has Wander finally ascended to the monkey level of thought process? You mean descended? Because, yes. My brain shut off. I want to go watch uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That's that's what I want to do. Turn brain off, watch watch good, good show, get comfy, eat food. Let's actually probably get faster shooting on this guy. Before I even upgrade this one. Because boy, he holds his own when he wants to do that. Oh, double shot just straight up doubles the amount of projectiles he's putting out. Gosh. Yeah, it's uh... That's pretty dang strang. Two cannons to the ship, and cannon attacks do more damage. Moab takedown ability. Harpoon's a Moab balloon. Huh. Maybe i actually give that a shot. Okay, so this guy, we're gonna have to crow's nest. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. I know merchant monkeys, merchant men probably make a reasonable amount of money. But let's just, uh,. I think this makes more. I could be wrong. There we go. Lead blooms ain't nothing on me. Yeah, that insta kills Moabs. 
It's something I'll consider. My biggest my biggest issue is that I often get attacked by multiple Moab, so I'm not entirely sure how that works. And also, I'm lazy and I'm totally going to forget to do it. Like, it's a fun idea. It's just execution-wise uh, is a bit of a big question mark. So yeah, let's, let's get a destroyer up. Because I think I need to alternate between financial and damage-related upgrades. Get multiple pirates then. But why? Why would I can just have more buccaneers? And then more merchantmen. And more money. There we go. Ah, yeah. I just... That's goofy. So how much money does this make per round? A little hard to tell. Okay, so we need... Slow this down, so I have, s I have some time so I don't have to feel like rushing. I'm trying to get this pixel perfect. Okay, there we go. It's just going to be... Oops. Well, I guess we do end up with some monkey pirates. I didn't necessarily mean to do that. However, it did delete a Moab. So, all is forgiven. Actually, we probably want to go for our favorite trades next. Yeah, stealth, stealth dudes are still a bit of an issue for me. too far over. I was not. There we go. You will not get past me. Welcome to Grape Town. So, I will say I should probably get one of these down at the very bottom or maybe not at the very bottom let's let's get the rest of these guys in place and then we'll get one of those okay I don't think I can get more than this yeah that's Way too slim. There we go. That got full. Okay. Put the merchant men down. Make that sweet cheddar. Get some more hot shots going. Welcome to Hex, sucker. It's filled with flaming grapes. Uh, 
I like it when the round ends and I suddenly make a lot of money. Probably actually upgrade the Pirate Lord. Pirate Lord is kind of expensive though, so we're, I don't think we're going to see, see that anytime soon. I'll just wait until I have some money. Oops, that's the wrong button. Oh well. I want to harpoon a Moab, but I actually need a Moab to exist. Ah! That's what that does. Yeah, it's pretty satisfying. Yeah, they just, they straight up just yoink it. They yoink it and it goes away. Okay, so we are probably going to have to look into something else other than just these boats next. I guess I could get the aircraft carrier next. Wow! Alright, that works. So I might specifically want to grab a trade empire. Just to buff all of the other merchantmen. Just because. Okay. Uh, let's see. We need we need some heavy firepower up in here. guys here. Just so, you know, anything that does get past gets to this section and then dies. That's certainly satisfying. Okay, so now we save up for the, uh, the trade empire. Not to be confused with the Jade Empire. I gotta convince Shell to actually play through that so I can see what it looks like. Cause I, I've never even seen Jade Empire. I've, I've seen a lot of people talk about it. It's like, oh, it's so good. Never mind. We might actually want to grab the Pirate Lord. Eh, no, 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 no. Trade Empire, then Pirate Lord. Yoink. Because this will make me a lot of money. just have to wait for the round to end and then they all go away forever okay how much money does he make per round eight hundred that's okay I think the main point is just it's it's got that big damage boost Yeah, let's just get the uh, the monkey monkey buck in here. Pirate Lord. Oh, they didn't live long enough to actually justify that. Bam. Moab. What Moab? There's no Moab around here. I don't know, I guess next up, maybe we go for the Energizer. I'm 
pretty capped out here. There's like the blue blue incineration. I guess actually, there's an option. Okay, there we go. Want to just grab Blue Strike? Sure. There we go. This way, if anybody gets kind of hinky, they just die. Alright then. This was a very successful map. I am proud of this. It is also a giant mess. I guess we might as well just glue rain occasionally anyway, just because, like, why hoard it? I think it... It charges pretty quick, too. I don't actually know if I'm gonna be able to get that. But it's fine. It's fine. That's the other thing I could potentially get would be the flagship carrier. Yeah, flagship carrier gives everybody else a uh, a boat damage upgrade. And then... Can I, can I put a helipad on the top? No. Nor a runway. Honestly, actually, a sniper is probably the most useful thing to put up here. <laughs> really? Alright. I was not quite expecting that level of efficacy. Uh, let's grab the bonus frag bombs, just cause. Alright, so I think I got maybe one more left in me. Woo, downstream. This looks like my kind of jam. Now, I can remove the rocks in the center here. Alright. Now, I will say, the tragedy here is... I can't get that many merchant men down. The benefit is, maybe it's not that necessary. We'll just set, set this guy up to be a uh, dumpster fire and a half to anybody involved. And then we might honestly just fill the stream with just uh, boats. I just gotta get grape shot. There it is. No survivors. faster shooting next because if I the double shot is busted with grape shot yeah the other option is we just go heavy pirates I skip the destroyer skip the air shat, airship carrier just uh, no we'd, we'd at least want one airship carrier I guess this doesn't give me a whole lot of leeway anyway. I'm going to get this sub down. Mainly because I want to use it as a... Uh, for the radiation. The stealth stripping. Let's see. I was hoping I'd have more space in that that little pond area. Maybe it's just that the submarine is larger. 
Okay, well let's let's save up for a Benji all the same. Tax zone in the tax shooter bottom path. You mean down here? Eh. You're probably right. But boats boats, my dude. Boats and maybe goats. Uh let's see. I'm curious about the range on this thing. Double shot, hot shot. Okay, let's remove that. Yes. I can do spike town. So the question is, do we go Moab Shredder? I mean, we could do both. I would say Moab Shredder for the first one, and then Spiked Mines for this one. Well, let's let's get our finances in order before I do too much. Yeah, we just get a marketplace down real quick. Do spikes affect camo? Oh, they do! Huh. I actually didn't know that one. I guess the alternative we could do is just have two of these go pirate. works. And then we probably want to go... Yeah, we don't need long life. So we'll go... We'll go 2-4. Do we? Alternatively, if I'm going anti-Moab here, maybe spiked balls are better. Or, if I make these guys into the pirate ship. Yeah, this is my anti-stealth. Let's see. I'm gonna do... Bigger stacks. We're going to do a uh, long spike life up here. Just because. Okay, one immediate problem is I think we're about to have a Moab, and it'll be time to find out if this build actually works well against a Moab. Yes, it does. We'll still go monkey pirates, but... Now, here's the question. Can you stack multiple of these spike things, or is there an upper limit on how much, uh, how many spikes you can have? Yep, this is a good, this was a good choice. Perma spike. Huh. So I could potentially just make this place bad? Is that what I'm hearing? Alright. Hmm. 
some spec balls. Well, this is like the most casual build I think I've ever done. Uh, we should probably get at least uh, one more of these. There we go. This is an interesting build. It's not the one that I was really expecting to go into with this run. But that's not really a problem for me. Did I finish upgrading that? Yes, I did. There we go. I should try this with more loops. Let's see. These have been nerfed a lot over the years. Good to know. Okay, let's uh let's get another one of these boyos down. What I really want is get perma spike on the back one, maybe? Maybe. Ooh, spike mines. They're pretty expensive. probably start yoinking those just because so what else do we get oh right this way we can start hitting stealth with this group at least <laughs> what's another type that I haven't used like ever I mean honestly We might as well blue pop. Let's see, I've got enough. Probably for one more of these. My only fear with that one is I don't see the money pop out. Oh, but then again, I don't see the money pop out when I kill most balloons. Okay, so let's let's save up uh, and start turning these into spiked mines. Spike Storm. Okay, Spike Storm is... ...reasonably affordable. And next time we see Moabs on the track. Let's see. Is that fully upgraded? Yeah. absolutely dump spikes. Yeah, you using activated abilities is actually very worthwhile. Okay. Well, this strategy works. I didn't really know what I was getting into. I was just like, I don't know. I haven't used the spike machine like ever. Let's see if this is any good. And the answer is, yup. Time to save up for the other one. I might also try and squeeze a Necromancer into this just for extra hostile ground. Maybe.
Yoink. And they just fly up to the uh, exploding mines, and then they just kind of stop existing. It's it's gratifying. Yoink. <laughs> ah, holy shit. That's a lot better than I thought that was going to be. Right, let's get another one of those. Sniper would work to take out the tougher balloons. What tougher balloons? Actual question here. Ooh. What? Bam! Now oh, I think we grabbed one of the smaller ones. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of Moabs, I, ge I guess. They're, uh, kind of few and far between, though. That ain't enough. That's more... more like it. Probably actually grab the aircraft carrier. I've been kind of lazy about the aircraft carrier. You know what? Let's not. I don't like the aircraft carrier. I don't like the little planes. If I'm doing plane stuff, I'm doing plane stuff. Super mines or perma spike? Well, super mines cost 200,000 gold. So I guess we're going perma spike because the alternative is I can't afford it. I'm pretty sure I still can't afford permit. Well, I might be able to squeak together enough funding. That's a big if, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Let's see, have you tried the Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense? I haven't. I actually wasn't even aware there was one. I might... I might take a look at it. Welcome to a gigantic mess. I don't know, it'd be kind of tempting to just get a bunch of the uh, spike dumper things. Uh, just this upgrade? Okay, so I can't... Yoink the ZOMG this time around. Oh, you know what? The upgraded pirate jo uh, pirate boat can probably yoink it. I cannot. I didn't level up from. Oh, come on! I'm tired. Uh. Oh, hey. Can I not buy monkey knowledge with cash? I don't want to spend real money on this stuff. What the hell do I spend monkey cash on then? Dang. I was really hoping I could buy uh, another book. One more run. The tragedy is it's actually two more, uh, two to three more runs. Because I got to get... I gotta get both of these. And that's gonna take a while. Yeah, it's pay to win. I gotta level up that one. Oh well. 